Let's, let's get in this and let's do it proper. And welcome back to DG360 here. We try our very best to find some really cool content for you guys. Thanks to our awesome community who is here live with us on stream. If you're not here with us live, get over here, experience it, have some fun. Like Hartsy here, this is his first time and he's like giving me like amazing thanks and making me smile today. Today we're going to be watching because IAE is this week and I want to get the flavor. I want to get the vibe. And here we've got a new player uh, from Elite uh, dangerous, which we call erectile dysfunction here for many different reasons. We're going to go uh, on a video later in the in the show. We're going to talk about how Frontier shares drop by 40%, possibly because they are not connected to the gaming audience and to the people who supported them this, this entire time for many, many years that the Elite Dangerous has been out. But let us get the experience of the IAE, which is the free fly event that um, Cloud Imperium has f uh, with their game Star Citizen and let us check out what she thinks of it. Once but again, I was leaving our corp, but in a more casual disposition this time. It is a very special time of year in Stanton, with the leading manufacturers of ships, vehicles and weapons showing off their collections in a grand expedition. And as this was my first year in Star Citizen, I wanted to make the journey to Microtech to join the fun. I was heading for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, or oh, I can't wait to see what at the Tobin Expo Center in New Babbage, where for each of the nearly two weeks the expo is set to run, a new manufacturer will take to the halls and show their wares. This event occurs every year, coinciding with ship sales, a free fly event, and free ship rentals. Many skunks were also new enough to Star Citizen for this to be their first IAE, so a handful of us made plans to meet at New Babbage and visit day one Very of the cool. expo together. Very cool. This is together. totally different style. Andil I like it. Would be on display I mean, it's first. got her style one on it, but it's more casual. One of my favorite ship in the verse. I'd be treated to a view of Microtech's clouds <laughs> before making the jump down we to the surface. We talked about that last week, And sketch. though New Babbage was cloaked in darkness, the expo center was clear to see, even from altitude. Okay, I've made it into the goddamn hangar. Now I can check. Now I can get changed, and then I can meet you guys at the spaceport, and we can we can we can sit uh, by the window and discuss Star Citizen like civilized uh, grown-ups. At the time she arrived, Kate had an hour before the event was to begin. Wait a second. Who is this man speaking right now? This is not. This can only be known as the algorithm known as parentheses and will which by the way i just want everybody to know that will is not real all right kate does not uh have a significant other and she uses uh, uh artificial intelligence to make it seem as if she has a relationship all right let's continue and more skunks were just about arriving Look, I'm going to wait for you guys down at the Metro like, station. I'm not going to go into, into, into town yet, is it where? But I'm going, to, I'm going to wait for you at the station down here. She was now heading for Tobin Expo Center in New Babbage itself, but evidence of the expo could be seen everywhere. Look at that, there's the, um, check it out, like at the station, right? I at the expo, at the Tobin... Notice that there is no interaction between... Kate and Will. Some people even saying that Will might not only just not be an artificial intelligence, but might be a voice mod that Kate uses because they never really talk to one another ever. This is the first time we're seeing this, and I believe it's because Kate really wants to give you the illusion that Will is a real person. Been X presenter and sort of dates. That's amazing. <laughs> in just over an hour, IAE 2951 would open its doors to the public, but the skunks had some time to kill, and being in-game and just waiting, it was an obvious choice to head for Wally's Bar in the Commons. The Expo Center was adorned ready for the event, and excitement was high amongst Kate's group. Do I sit here? I said nice to Julio. <laughs> Get yourself. Party time. God, that was so quick. Okay, I want liquor. 
the performance of bartenders has been dramatically increased and they now respond absolutely to Absolutely, immediately. Hard absolutely. We noticed that alcohol now contributes to your blood drug level and so set out to see if there was any additional effects to alcohol intoxication, all the while enjoying the party atmosphere of the upcoming event. It's gonna get crazy now. I don't I don't want Kate regretting anything. Kate, listen to me. Don't go crazy here. You don't know what those skunks are gonna do. You you play it safe. You play it safe. That that's like an even cooler Andrew T-shirt right there. There were no observed changes to visual clarity after drinking a lot, but it did whittle down the remaining time very effectively for the gang. Ten minutes to go. I like the fact I just recorded half an hour of us just chasing drinking. <laughs> literally speeds drinking at the bar. You know, binge drinking before we go to the <laughs> to the expo centre. And soon the time to make the tune. Thank you, DG Polka. To Tobin Expo Center. Drink is almost done. Too full. <laughs> they have a trouble. They have a actually, trouble walk. Oh, yeah. We'll come back and we'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Lou. So yeah. yeah. So we're going this way, yeah. After the vid, we'll see what our uh, goal bar is, if it's raised nice. or not. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Going into the expo center. There's a there's a level of excitement. It's cool that they do this, you know? These events in game. I, I've always okay, loved this idea. Listen to this listen to the music yeah, track she picked. Kate had Funky arrived saxophone. at the Tobin Expo Center and IAE twenty nine fifty one was about to get underway. There was still a moment or two to look around at those also attending. And of course, there would be merchandise shops to get excited about. Oh, look at this. I got, oh, I got to get my got merch. merch. I didn't get my they merch this year. At IE. Who yeah. thought that? Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. They got Drake t-shirts. How misc. Oh, how I need, I need the uh, oh IE God, see, I'm, I'm merch. Really I've got all, the, you know, I've got all like, that stuff. Is, you're going you're gonna to see an explosion. Of She's just going to buy everything there. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Ooh, look at that, it's grey as well. It's grey and it's got like a kind of like pattern to it. Oh my god. Okay, Possibly we're hard to. And then, <laughs> finally. Oh, it's open. By the way, I think it's open, guys. No way. The elevators are open? Looks like it, yeah. Elevators are open. Gunky, though. <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Luke. Oh wow! <laughs> Red said I did not get the origin or the Argo. Yeah, they stepped it up. There you go, Red. From last time. <laughs> Red. After admiring the entranceway, it was time for the gang to make their way up to the central hall. Oh, look at it! Oh my God, look at that! Wow. Okay, that's woof. Damn. Oh, wow, for me. When this becomes. Like when this becomes truly epic is when the game is flushed out, dynamic server meshing is is uh, available to play, and there's no more player caps. And these these events are going to be absolutely huge, like astronomical. The amount of people at these events, all sharing the same experience, it'll be like a hundred times better than it is right now. This is just giving like us the flavor, but imagine. When you're in the game and you have like souvenirs of the IAEs you've been to in the past with the years on them, like those are somewhat of collector's items. Like everything that we've collected through all these years of support are in fact collector's items that we should be able to sell if you still wanted to, which is kind of a neat idea as the game finalizes, you know? Uh, yes, the AI known as Will is narrating. Yeah, you can tour. <laughs> Artsy. Coffee to go over here, Katie. Aru. Pisces, yeah, that's, that's so sad, bike. Verb. Yeah. There would be many familiar sights to see. <laughs> Lucky Shay just crawling around his knees. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving, I'm loving that you're dissing Origin. It's my least favorite manufacturer. <laughs> and with all Anvil ships on display, 
there would be a few that Kate hadn't flown on the channel before, too. Ooh, Anvil okay. solid. Anvil Perfect. solid. Very cool. Anvil is solid. It wasn't just ships, either. Components and weapons had their little displays as well. Components can be... Oh, no. Look how tiny this, like, is that shield generator. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. I love. It's so, so cool seeing like, like somebody tree, like you could, be here like for the first time. I remember the first IE I went box. to. This cooler. And then you get. How many years here, now? They done IE like three ish. Five, the three? gladiator three? looks cooler three. in this. Maybe even like, four. Like um, Expo Center three, than it right, does right. when you see it in like in a real setting. Yeah, shooting. And along with a wonderful the familiar, idea, there were also some new vehicles on display. Just below the main hall, Kate would find the new Anvil Spartan. <laughs> oh, sketch. Okay, downstairs. It's from my ball so sketch. You <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is genuinely interesting. Oh, that does look goddamn amazing, actually. We're giving wow. that away. That does look really cool. Uh, video this uh, weekend. Oh, it's it's a hollow of the Liberator down there. Well, no, when you run with the uh, uh, battle group. And what did I say about the 400? And what did I say besides quack, quack about the 400? I call it like I see it. I always call it like I see it. So, quack, quack. Because we could launch that out of the front of the A2. Will it? Then we got, what? yeah, the regular ballista, okay. I love the lighting they've got on there. Like they're, they're very good, aren't they? With like lighting and kind of the way the displays are set up. Like they look very dramatic. And concept ships could also be somewhat displayed. Ooh! <laughs> wow! Okay, that is cool. Wow! The original 300 series like, design. I know we're I know we're looking at Anvil. This is their new transport, by the way. I I, I know we're looking at Anvil right now, but there's a great discussion be had about how useless Origin ships are. Uh, exception of 890 luxurious jump the 890 luxurious jump you know there's a lot of work put into that and i will give props to the 890 jump but everything else the the 100 a decent starter ship other than that everything else in the line of origin block and like verb says the only caveat to origin truly was the original 300 series design. Now, I love the original. Now, I know three people already left because they saw me diss in Origin. That's how people are truly passionate about their ship manufacturers, man. But the, I, I got I, I to gotta speak my piece. I'm, I'm, I've never been one to filter myself, and these, these are my opinions, right? The original 300 series was tits. The design of the original 300 did things to my no-no spot that, that hasn't happened for a very long time. It f looked great. It felt great. I remember seeing it in my hangar when I had it, and trust me, I melted that shit the second they changed the design of it because the aesthetic made it look like a goddamn banana. And that is why I call the 300 ship the banana ship. The banana ship i actually miss the old cutlass design too uh you know like i i i miss that kind of like uh agile cutlass feel that the cutlass used to have as well so lou yes i feel you there as well the liberator okay hollow viewer hollow from <laughs> ship matrix it looks very 80s to me yes it does like the lighting on that yeah there she is uh, hello, hello. What have you got? The F8 Lightning. The more experienced yeah. skunks, though, were very excited to see the F8 Lightning, a ship yep. that cannot be purchased and is reputedly very combat effective. Sexy. Kate would be seeing it for the first time. It looks cool on display here, I will say that. Like, the display looks real good. Oh, it's got the How many seats do you see? Two seat me one. And we will make sure to gank as many of them as we can for my org, the Plexus Syndicate. When we're able to, we will gank them and have like a large F8 uh, <laughs> platter, if you will. <laughs> a lot of guns. A lot of guns, yeah. Damn. Can it you might get be, that I color? believe it might be. That's like gun metal. No, that's very cool, isn't it? Like the kind of bare metal. I think all of the ships on yeah. display down here, like the um, Gladiator was as well. Where are the Hornets to? Is the question. I want to see if they got the 
that military version of the Hornet. Oh, the Mark II? Well, the, uh, yeah, I, I can with the F7A. F7A, isn't it? Look at that. We've got a moon of some kind. One of the moons. Ready. Yeah. I got a feeling that's Microtech. Look at that. that, that. It's funny, isn't it, how that isn't the real sky? It does look very. Wow, very that very is cool. Inside. That's Trussler. Oh, here we go, look. Here we go. Yeah, look, there it is. There's the military hornet down there. So this is the actual, like, UEE Navy version that you can't buy. It's, like, military only. Yeah. People are getting in. Ooh, you can get into it. Wow. I might have to sit in the cockpit of this one. Nose is skinnier than the regular. Yeah, it's, like, a different shape altogether. Oh, yeah, that's interesting, yeah. Super yeah. hornet here next to it. And you can see that with this one. I like the skinnier nose. It is It is very different to the civilian version, yeah. Hey, look at his wing guns. Those are size. Those are... Um, What's up, Q? Welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow, bro. No, those are the fours. What's it called? Re Revenue. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse Arms. arms. Yeah. Okay, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna jump in as well. Okay. It's the Mark II, yeah. It's the first time I've seen it, actually. I don't know what this cockpit is like. I don't remember having seen a, the nose like that of a Hornet. It's really cool that like you can do things like this. You know, you can kind of jump in. Thanks, to Q. the seats of these. Ooh, it's very, wow, this is a diff it's very different. It's a very different cockpit. I love her, I love her attitude. The, um, civilian vision. Wow. It may seem strange to those watching and not part of Star Citizen, but sitting in the F7A Hornet was a very cool experience. And when you're at an event like this, these unavailable ships do carry a weight to them. Okay. Anyone else want to have a sit in this? She's, she's really beautiful... excited. This remi reminds me of my first time. That like this reminds me of my first time at the IA, man. Like it was it was a very exciting thing. In fact, I have a video on the channel, and it was a series I did called Experience Star Citizen. I think I was one of the very first to do the FOIP in game, and people were like, "Wow, this is great! The DG's in the game with FOIP, and you know it looks good." And I remember going down to the floor, and it was the it was the alien week. It was the alien day. It was uh, Asperia, and this is back before the Banu Merchantman. This, I think, about two years ago. And we were on the floor, and this dude does that pose. It was so funny because he knew who I was, and I walked down here, and I'm trying to do camera angles and stuff, and he could hear my voice. And he was typing, like, hey, DG, hey. And he's, like, posing, and he's, like, doing all these poses. So I kept that in the video. It was really fun. Military yeah, Hornet. I haven't checked that one It's really, the cockpit's very interesting. Absolutely. Another I knew sitting in ships was possible, of course I would go back to sit in the hallowed F8 Lightning too. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's take a look then. She's going to get very excited here. It's, again, it's very, very military. It's like, there is a, there is a very clear distinction, I think, between yeah. the civilian ships and the kind of... Yeah, that's very, that's very it's a cool <laughs> cockpit. Like, it is very cool. It had been a very exciting first day of Kate's very first <laughs> IAC experience, when he comes to and there was so Get much more to come, with day two ushering in RSI's offerings and a whole yeah, new oh yeah, exhibition. Q. He's the asking, you can uh, type up race on my channel and you can see some really well done races by Atmo Esports and uh, XGR, I believe is the, the name of the new one, uh, by Black Maze on YouTube and... Um, uh, Zark Media covered it, and we just watched a race here about uh, three weeks ago. It was amazingly well covered. It was all player driven, and it, uh, not here on on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel, I got it up on the YouTube channel. Sketch, you, Sketch is blazed right now. He's like, I need some coffee. <laughs> Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? There are four of me right now, Sketch. <laughs> I'm going to trip them out. No, I'm sorry, Sketch. I can't do that to you. I'm sorry. These halls. <laughs> Kate would be staying in New Babbage for the duration of the expo and was very much looking forward to more. We'd like to thank all of you for watching and send a very special thank you Damn. to our patrons. Look at her patron on list. Right now. Thank you I'm all so for jelly. Very look at support. all those patrons. It takes me a long She's time doing good work. She's doing together, good work. And your support makes that possible. If you are starting to start there's citizen T-Love, yourself, use the referral one of code ours. in the description Damon, when signing up he's for one of ours. to gain an extra 5,000 credits in-game. And remember, Star Citizen can be played for free right now, until December 1st.
Uh, that was really we'll, be well done. That was really, really well done. Let's get back to the show.